There's been moments over NASCAR's years where if one thing would have changed in one race, a driver's career could have been different. Maybe their season could have been different or the victory. In this video, we're going to be looking at some moments in NASCAR where what could have been moments. Defending champion Tony Stewart was looking to make another run at another title in 2006. He ended up having a horrific crash at Charlotte and injuring himself, putting him out for a couple races. Wow. I mean, that was late exit. Tony's okay, but he's holding his right arm uh, and his shoulder, rubbing it. He's uh, grimacing as he gets out of that car, and he didn't jump right out either, so... Uh... The following day after this crash was the Coca-Cola 600. He then crashed again, ultimately injuring himself even worse. Tony! Tony! Stewart! Stewart. And caution will wave for the second time today. I tell you, that poor guy can't catch a break. Tough, tough speed weeks here in Charlotte. Been a couple of, it's been really about two or three really rough weeks when you think about back to Talladega and the bush race and the couple of accidents he's had here. The rescue worker's there. Man, he's hurt. Yes. He already had problems on the right side there. I tell you, it's, so, it's, it's your ribs under your shoulder blade. It just... He may have bruised him, but he probably finished him off right there with that wreck. Missing a couple races because of his injury ultimately hurt Tony Stewart's chances at making the 2006 chase. Missing the chase meant Tony Stewart could not win another championship. But in Tony Stewart fashion, he went out and won three of the ten chase races. If he would have made the chase that year, he could have and potentially could have went back to back and claimed another championship. Now third, can he get to the finish? We work the final lap. So Stewart, down Stewart's the back actually, He looks like he's out of fuel. There'll be quite a few more up running out. Stewart's out. Can he coast around in time? Had that 17-second lead. Casey Mears is the second-place car. Stewart slow through turn four, trying to reach the finish line. It looks like Casey Mears is out of fuel now. Casey Mears slow in turn three. Tony Stewart's going to take the checker flag and coast across the finish line and win. That's unbelievable. Stewart takes the white flag last lap at Atlanta. Can Johnson get there? Can Kenseth get third from Earnhardt? And a car in the wall. The 07 car. Boyer trying to keep it high on the track. They've already taken the white flag. If the caution was to come out, the race would be over. Kenseth trying to make a move on the aid of Earnhardt. This is for third. Oh, he's oh, getting get loose. Gets under the 17, Kenseth got loose. Got on the apron a little bit. Tony he's Stewart takes the checkered beat. flag. Earth. Tony Stewart won last week at Atlanta with a dominating run, strong pit stops, a good crew. Outside the chase for the next Dell Cup championship, cannot defend his title, but he can be strong down the stretch. Tony Stewart wins at Texas. As a Dale Jr. fan, this one definitely hurts the most. He came so close to winning a championship in 2004, but never really came close after that, up until 2015. Dale Jr. had knocked off some wins in the 2015 season and was looking to make a run at the title. Junior would pick up wins at two of his best places that season, at Talladega and Daytona. Four cars to settle it. Earnhardt trying to cover all spots. Dale, Earnhardt Jr., checkered flag at Talladega. Johnson second to the bottom of the racetrack. Dale Earnhardt Jr. trying to stay in front of the pack. They work their way through three and four. Into the trial, they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. to the bottom of the track. Junior will win at Daytona. And the big one happens behind them. Oh my God. The round of 12 at the time was miserable for Dale Jr. He had problems at Charlotte and Kansas. Charlotte, he got damaged and ultimately set him back behind points. He entered Talladega in a must-win situation. If he wins, he advances to the next round of the chase. Back into the NBC Sports restart zone. 220 feet. Green flag back in the air. The four not going. They wreck behind him. The green flag is out as they cross the start-finish line. Will they throw the caution? 
Trying to get back up to speed. Caution comes out. Right here we see they're under green flag. NASCAR's looking at the track, trying to determine if these cars can drive off. It's very important to see who the leader is when the light comes on. Caution comes out, and that's how close it is to determine who wins this race. From NASCAR, they are telling us that the 22 was in front, and so Joey Logano will sweep round two. If Dale Jr. would have been declared the victor that day, he would have advanced to the round of eight. Dale Jr. would then go on to win Phoenix a couple of weeks later, ultimately missing the championship four because he got eliminated. Dale Jr. could have made the round of eight and made the championship four and had a shot at his first ever championship in his closing stages in his career. Dave Blaney was a NASCAR journeyman. He had some success in the lower divisions in NASCAR, claiming one of the most epic wins I've ever seen. See if he can hold that line through three and four. What a great run by Blaney, man. Has never won in the Bush Series. It's going to lose a little bit here, but... If, oh, he's got it. Kenseth he's got Lomas. it. Kenseth gets Kenseth loose. Around. Blaney. Oh. Right, back it down, baby. You're the best. Dave Blaney wins a wacky race at Charlotte. <laughs> In the Cup Series, Dave Blaney never really had a chance to show his talent. But during the 2012 Daytona 500, the biggest race of the year, there was a red flag because Juan Pablo Montoya had hit the jet dryer. Nobody knew what would happen if the race would be called official. And if it was, Dave Blaney would have been declared the winner. That would have changed Dave Blaney's life and career forever. Unfortunately for him, they went back green and Dave Blaney was not declared the winner of the 2012 Daytona 500.